everyone this is Kakur Bernard today I'm back with our lessons and we are now looking at practical question 5 on Microsoft Excel and so today we are looking at a number from Kampara Computer Enterprises that from the payroll of Kampara Computer Enterprises for the month of February enter the following data as it appears in the table below in a worksheet and save it as Kela Compu Tanit something like that and so we are going to create a folder and so in this folder we can call this folder Excel practice and then we open Microsoft Excel after opening it we can enter our information there so after entering the information there you can save it as save it in your folder on the desktop Excel practice and give it a name as Kla something like that you save so after giving it a name so when you look at this first row there is what we call text wrapping this one has a background color or a fear color these are bolded this one is also bolded and so we also need to do that select that row you bold it you also select uh, the total row and bold it so this one we are going to wrap it highlight from there and wrap text so after wrapping you can put it top and make it centered so that this name can be reduced a bit and maybe size can be put to around 12 or anything to do is 14 and then it merges like that this can be expanded and this can be reduced a bit same price to this like that so after that then we highlight edge column you come to shading or fill color and choose light green so far we have done text wrapping and filling the color so we come to the questions the first question says due to inflation the management increased the wages of employees who earn 300,000 and above by 20 percent and for those who earn above 300,000 by 15 percent for the month of September using an appropriate function compute the new wages for each employee in the month of September so meaning that those employees who earn 300,000 and below they were increased 20 percent and for those who earn 300 and above, they were increased by 15%. So we come to our September wage, and we say equal signs if, equal signs if, open brackets, this if D2 is less or equal to 300,000, comma this times so when you get the 100 plus 20 percent that is 120 percent increment comma this d2 times 115 percent you close the brackets 
So that is what it means. And so this means that this one is above 300,000 and so his increment is 115%. And so you autofill the other fund, the other cells. Then next on the instruction, add columns for September pay, SEP NSSF, September net pay, after September wages. So we have SEP pay, SEP NSSF, SEP net pay. So after that, this means that they want us to calculate. So after doing that, calculate the pay as you earn. Give, eh, given that it is a rate of 8% of the gross wage. 8% of the gross wage. So meaning that it is equal signs 8% of this September wage and so you press enter that is pay autofill then that thereafter calculate the second oldest age in cell B9 the second oldest age here second oldest age we say equal signs, large, open brackets, highlight age range from B2 to B8, comma, 2 second, close brackets, press enter. So the second oldest person has 33 years. So you can even bold it. Next on our instruction is NSSF is calculated at 3% of gross wage calculate NSSF savings for September per employee so meaning that we calculate NSSF which is 3% of gross wage equal signs September wage that is in E2 times times three percent you press enter then you autofill next on the instruction is use a stable formula to generate a net pay that will be available for each employee so net pay here we shall say equal signs September wage minus Pay minus NSSF. So what remains is what we call net pay. So this is their net pay. So you save changes. You save changes. Next on our instruction that use a suitable formula sorry in the totals row compute the totals for all the columns having currencies so this means that we are going to generate totals here equal sign sum the open brackets highlight the range from d2 downwards to d8 close brackets and press enter sorry The spelling of the word sum is wrong. We have to remove D. Press enter. And so we are going to autofill horizontally like that. Save changes. Next on the instruction is uh, in cell C10, use the count if function to compute for how many are managers. 
that here we calculate how many are managers from here. For example, we have general manager one, training manager two, marketing manager three, production manager four, advertising manager five. So we shall say equal signs count if open brackets highlight from C2 downwards to C8 you put a comma and you open quotes you put a star and write the word manager this star this star here symbolizes these beginning characters and then followed by manager so from there you can press enter and then it is telling us that the managers are five the formula is there save changes next add sh s symbol as a suffix to your values in the table so we are going to add sh symbol to these values and so you can also include these ones so that they are given sh symbol how do we do that you right click you go to format cells so reaching under format cells we come to the number tab so under number tab we can choose uh, currency and in this currency for example if i choose symbol and i choose for example if i choose any symbol like azn it's like this decimal places raise them to zero then i'll go to custom reaching custom and so in here this can be edited into sh s like that and then you click ok so sh symbol is now chosen these ones mean that the column width is not wide enough you can expand a bit so that the values can fit yes there we are next is that we apply a green line color or borders outline to all cells with data so we are going to highlight our work like that right click go to format cells under border tab come to color choose green choose that thick border put it outline click the grid side inside then you click ok click anywhere in your work you will see the borders in your work you save changes next one our instruction is to select the names column september wages column to generate a 3d clustered column graph with appropriate labels to be saved as employee pictorial data so that we select the names column and we also select september wage column we come to insert under column come to 3d and then reaching 3d here we have our graph so we can move chart in the new sheet and call it employee pictorial employee pictorial data you click ok so we can put appropriate titles so here you can edit this and say a 3 d clustered column chart showing 
SCD cluster column chart showing September wages against names. Then next is to have the go to layout axis titles below axis names press enter then we label the z axis and so we come to axis titles primary vertical vertical title amount press enter so we have labeled the y axis and z axis if it is a 3d this one is not y but instead it is z axis so save changes so that is our chart so next on our instruction is to fill your bars with a green horizontal brick pattern that we fill the bars of the chart with a green horizontal brick pattern so here on our pictorial data click on one of the bars right click you go to format data series so under format data series we can come to fill then under fill we shall choose pattern fill so under pattern fill we shall choose this pattern horizontal brick and then color we can choose green you close this is what it meant save changes next one instruction is to add your name and class and write a as a right aligned footer and print your work in orientation so name and class to the right section insert header from here you custom footer this side of the right put there your names you can press a 3 ok then you click ok click ok so when you click file print you should be able to see your footer to the right so thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos that will be loading i remain kakuru bernard thank you goodbye